This tutorial will show you how to use the Google Tour Builder or Google Earth Tour Builder um, for our geography assignment for our Latin American Studies class. Um, as always, I like to start you from the beginning right here at the home page of Blackboard uh, so that I can show you how to get where you need to go and then how to use this tool, uh, Google Earth Tour Builder. As I mentioned in the assignment instructions, uh, one of the reasons that I uh, have us use this particular tool is because it uh, allows us to have a much more dynamic experience in terms of exploring Latin American geography. Think about some of the subjectivities uh, surrounding geography and the significance given to places. Um, and I think it does so in a much more um, uh, dynamic, I guess, way than just taking a map quiz, for example. Also, this gives you some choice to think about the places and things that you most want to learn about with Latin American studies um, or that you've heard about before or that you're interested in. So let's get started here. Um, there will be a link to this from the learning modules. I'm going to show you how to get there from assignment instructions. As with everything in the course, there are always multiple ways to do these things, but here in assignment instructions, of course, that's where you find all the instructions for the various assignments we'll be completing, as well as the tutorials. I'll, of course, be placing this tutorial here under the Google Earth Tour Builder. However, if you click this link, um, which will have this tutorial there when you see it, it'll take you to the geography assignment instructions. Um, and you can read through these on your own. I gave you a brief summary of uh, kind of what we're doing. You'll have to choose. Um, at least 15 places to include in your tour. Um, roughly half should be uh, physical sites, as I mentioned here, so things like rivers, mountains, lakes, and so on. And the other half should be political or, um, um, I wrote build there, but built, the built environment, those kinds of places like cities, towns, skyscrapers. Um, 15 is an odd number, so you can... Uh, uh, as long as there's roughly a half and half type of balance, that's fine. If you want to put more than 15 into your tour, that's also fine as well. Um, scrolling down then, uh, actually that's as far as I wanted to go. Um, at this point, I'm going to click on this link and that will take us to Google Tour Builder, which is the point of this tutorial is to show you how to use this thing. Um, and if you have assign or excuse me questions about the specific assignment and uh, the rubric and the things that follow uh, that we didn't look at, please don't hesitate to ask me about those. So for Tour Builder, um, you will need a Google account. I think most of us have those at this point in our lives. Um, if not, you can create one for free. Uh, it's no big deal. You will just have to click over here to sign in or sign up. Right now, you can see I'm already logged in, um, so I'm all set. If you want to view other people's tours or you want to see some tutorials or some uh, galleries besides this one, you can scroll down and see what else is available for you here on this front page. Or you can get back to tours that you've already started by clicking My Tours right there. Or you just click Create a Tour. So what you'll do is you'll give your tour a name. Let's see. Doesn't have to be that generic. Um, you can be very creative. I just came up uh, with that one right now. And I'm going to put my name on that thing and hit Create Tour. So that's going to get us started. This is what the editor looks like. It starts you in Washington, DC. Uh, but as you choose locations to include in your tour, um, it will begin to build a map that uh, um, actually encompasses the things that you've chosen. Here in this part of the editor, um, that's where you'll actually build your story. I did this this way because I wanted to show you how to start from scratch. Um, I'm actually going to click Done Editing on this one, and I'm going to click Home because I've already started one of these. So I want to show you the one I already started. So again, if you start working on yours and you want to go back, just come to this Tour Builder um, front page, click My Tours, and you will be able to get to those that you've already created. So the other one I already did is this one called Key Places in Latin America. So I'm going to click on that so that we can go back and edit it. Um, so as you begin, you know, you saw I gave the other one a title and it had my name. Um, this is what it will look like. I only have uh, two places on mine so far. But this is what it will look like um, when you're done with it. 
Um, if you want to edit, you click this little drop down and choose edit. And then you'll notice I could change the tour name, I can change the author's name here on the introduction slide. I could put a different picture if I wanted to. I just have this kind of global Latin America and just a basic, this is a tour about Latin America type of uh, um, story there. My first site that I chose is Columbus, New Mexico. Um, I chose this because it was a big part of my research on the border and it's what kind of got me into researching modern Mexico and Latin America. This of course is in New Mexico, as you can see from this um, image here, it's a rural part of the border, uh, the border right there, uh, Puerto Palomas and Chihuahua is on the other side. Um, but again, just to show you how this works and how you choose sites. So this first one I chose because I had experience with it. It was what kind of got me interested in Latin America. You can scroll down and read um, you know, what I wrote about it. I'll, I'll give you the link to this one so that you could look at it as an example. Um, but I wrote a couple of paragraphs talking about Pancho Villa's raid there, some of my research in the area, why I was interested in it. Um, again, and that's kind of what makes it significant to me to have it in this tour. So remember in your tour, the most important part of what you write about each of your sites is why it matters, why it's significant. It can be just significant to you, um, or you can also write about why it's significant to the region as a whole. I tried to do both um, with this one. So I wrote why it was, you know, again, significant to me and kind of what the border signifies uh, for the relationship between the global north and the global south. You don't have to go into a ton of, of um, detail with these either. I'm um, going back up here. Um, I chose a start date and actually I'm going to change this because I realized if you just leave the month and the day blank, you can just put in the year. Um, Columbus was founded probably in 1889, 1890, um, but it was first kind of verified as being a place in 1891. So there's not an exact month and day for that. Um, so I'm just going to put the year 1891. If your place doesn't really have a date associated with it, you can just leave all of that blank. Something you should use though, um, you will have had to have uh, created the, the location name and I will uh, show you that. We're, we're going to add one here in a second. Um, but you'll notice you can add a bunch of images. Um, as I scroll down, you can use this uh, editor to also add a link. So I have a link to a blog post that I made, and the way I did that is I just I'll highlight this. You just highlight the words you want to turn into a hyperlink, click the link button, and then paste the URL there and click OK. I don't have a URL to paste in there right now, but that's, uh, again, just how you do that. So let's, let's do, let's go to the next one. I chose Mexico City as my next place, and you'll notice um, we're traveling down there. Um, I have this blue line that's part of uh, the tour of showing, you know, uh, the line as the bird flies uh, directly from place to place. Um, you can adjust the way that the the map view show, <coughs> excuse me, displays. Sorry about that. Um, so what I've done here, my internet connection is not the greatest at this point because I'm in the back room of the house, but you could scroll out and I could lock that view if I wanted to have kind of this larger view of more of Mexico City that doesn't show just the uh, uh, Centro Historico, but also that shows like the Bosque de Chapultepec, uh, which is a place I really enjoyed visiting when I was there, um, and so on. So again, you can decide how to have this display for people who view your tour, and you can lock that view as the view they see when they start. Um, I wrote another entry for this one. I also have another link. Um, this one, I use dates that signify when Tenochtitlan was founded and then when it was conquered by the Spanish. And I have that kind of noted here in my description. And again, this time I added a video, I added some um, photos from my trip in 2012 to Mexico City. Um, so again, just kind of telling, showing you what you can do with this thing. So let's add a location or add another one here. Um, you can just start typing a location or you can drop a place mark on the map if you wanna zoom around on the map to look for it. Um, I want to add Lake Atitlan, which is in Guatemala. Here's another one of my um, plugs for the Guatemala study abroad trip that we'll be taking in May. Um, if you can come along on that, if you're interested in that, please let me know. 
Um, so this is the place that I want. You know, I saw it kind of come up on the map and I know that that's the right place. Um, sometimes names of places can be so similar, you might want to verify that you have the place you were thinking of. I'm just going to click Add to Tour, and now I have the same editor as before. Um, I'm just going to write a very brief uh, entry here because uh, I'm doing this live for the video. Um, we will be visiting Lake Atitlan on the CNM study abroad to Guatemala. You can see I can't type in May 2018. So that's all I'll put there. So I have an introduction about that. This one, I'd, I could put maybe May 2018 if I wanted to, um, since that's what I'm talking about with it here. I could, if as I kind of go and research Lake Atitlan, um, decide to put something else there uh, that has to do with the history of the surrounding area, or I could leave that blank. That's all up to you. Um, I do want to add a photo. So I don't have a photo of this one because um, going to Antigua in May is actually going to be my first visit there. Um, so I need to go to the internet to find some images, and I'm going to do images.google.com. Um, that's a good way to do it. I'm, I'm trying to make all of this as straightforward and, and simple as it can be. Um, Google dominates the world, but their stuff's easy to use. So, um, so I'm going to type Lake Atitlan. I did it before a minute ago, so I'll just click that from the drop down, and then I can choose any of these images that I would like to add. Um, I think this one's kind of cool, so I'll click on it. And then what I'll do is I'll either, um, and I can follow this to the site to do some more research about it, where the image is from, and so on. It's always a good idea. Um, for the sake of, of time and what we're doing here, I'm just going to right-click or control-click on a Mac and choose Copy Image Address. Then I'm going to go back to my Tour Builder in the other tab. I'm going to click this Add Photos and Videos box. And then if I wanted to upload something from my albums in my Google Drive, that's what comes up here. Um, or you have all these other options. So I have my YouTube account. I could upload a photo from my computer. You just uh, select using the usual process for that video. I could take a snapshot from my computer. Or if you click More, there's this option for Image by URL. So I'm just going to paste, so Control-V. Uh, to paste the image that I just uh, copied the URL for there and hit select. Now you'll notice it's here in my slideshow. Um, I may want a couple of other images. I'm going to scroll back up here and you'll notice it gives us some um, categories for the Lake Atitlan um, images at the top. I'm going to scroll to the side because I want to find San Pedro because I know that we're going to be visiting uh, San Pedro, which is this site here that on this map it calls um, a place for young dope smokers. Um, it's actually just kind of a uh, touristy spot on this side of the lake. Um, we're going to arrive in Santiago when we come up from um, Antigua and spend uh, the night there. We're going to take a boat trip, and then the next day we're going to visit San Pedro on the way back. Um, I kind of like this image here um, just because it, it shows uh, the volcano. Um, from the lake side. So I'm going to do the same thing again, copy image address, go back over to the tour builder, and then I'm going to click this plus. And then I already have image by URL because that's the last thing that I did. Um, and then I will just wait for it to come up and select it. And now there are two images here. Um, I can click on this to view it full screen. And I can um, add a title, um, Volcano San Pedro, and I can add more of a description if I wanted to. Click Save Now. Um, I could go over to the other one um, and also add information there as well if I want to. Um, so one of the points that I wanted to make with this assignment is you can get as detailed as you would like, be as creative as you would like with this. Um, you'll notice down below also you can change the icon that you use so it doesn't have to be this red balloon. I've just left it what it was as a default. Um, but you could choose from any of these things. Um, since this is Lake Atitlan, if I wanted to, I could choose a boat. 
Um, so I think I'll just do that for fun. Um, and the advanced options have to do with uh, if you use Google Earth and you want to bring in um, a saved file from Google Earth itself. Um, but again, you don't have to know how to do that. You can just do these simple things. Uh, you can put videos in here. You can put links down below. Um, let me actually, because this is what I love to do, um, let's click this study abroad to Guatemala. And by click, I mean highlight. I'm going to go to my other tab, and I'm going to type in cnm.edu slash Guatemala. And this is where you get information on the study abroad. So I can just copy that URL at the top here, um, go back to Tour Builder. This is already highlighted. So in my editor, I just click the link. I paste in that URL. Um, I want to see something, I believe, because the Guatemala URL that I typed in just redirects to this longer one. So if I just type in Guatemala, I spell it right, Guatemala, there we go. And I want this to open in a new window. Click OK. So now we can see it's here. And if I click on that after I have it in there, you can see what the link is. You can change it, remove it. Um, I'll just click that to make sure it worked correctly. And it did. So that's the basics of how to build this thing. Um, it does save automatically, but if you have a slow internet connection, sometimes this button will say save. It's always a good idea to click that if it's uh, not saving automatically, just to make sure that it has. Um, and again, be as creative as you'd like with this thing. So now we're done editing it for the moment. I only have three uh, uh, places here so far, but um, you know, as I mentioned, we'll put up to, or at least I should say 15, and you can see the progression going from the border down to Mexico City over to Lake Atitlan. Um, I'll probably add a few more and I'll share this with you as an example. Um, but again, this is uh, something for, for you to look at, kind of get an idea of how to do this. Uh, and hopefully this showed you all the technical things. Oh, the last thing I wanted to point out, when you're ready to submit this, so you've finished your tour and you want to turn it in, just go to share, the blue button there. Um, and then the link to share, it comes up, it's, only, it's private. It's only the people that are collaborating with you um, or uh, people that you invite. You can change that so that anyone with the link can view it. Um, they can just view it. They won't be able to edit it. And that's um, important. So then I clicked that option, click Save. Now anyone who has the link can view it. So I can copy the link here and then paste it into Blackboard in the assignment submission area. Um, and I also uh, would want to tweet it. So I can click on Twitter. And if you have a faster internet connection, this will put the URL in a tweet uh, for you. And then I can just type, here's my tour of Latin America for LTAM1110. So you'll want to use the course hashtag and tweet it. And that way we can see each other's work. Um, you can have a, a double assurance that I will have been able to see it to give you credit for your work. I'm going to click done. And again, this is here for us. So um, I hope that helps. Please let me know what questions you have as you try to work on these. And I really look forward to seeing uh, what everyone comes up with.